Good evening, seekers of terrible lore and evil stories and spine-tingling, chilling tales of tingling spines. Hi, welcome to Blood from a Stone. My name is Philip. I am... Why did I say I'm the living force? I'm the Dreadmaster. Oh my gosh, I've been making know. nothing but mistakes tonight. You play Jeez. this game too much. Maybe it's because I play why. this game too much. Yeah, this is the <laughs> horror one, right? All that spine tingling stuff, that was about her Star Wars game. <laughs> Holy mother of mercy. Hi, I'm Philip, and I'm doing something for this game. Uh, this is Blood from a Stone. It's a horror game where horrible things happen to uh, the players. Say hello, players. Hello. Hello, hello players. players. Now say goodbye, players, because like... I don't want to yeah, say that. It's so hard to say goodbye. Um, you know, I was I was actually going through stuff uh, with with whatever uh, like emotionally. N uh, yes, well, always. <laughs> but uh, with whatever character uh, that Zane is bringing in tonight, that is our thirty first player character in this campaign. Um, and then, as it was pointed out, thirty one backwards is thirteen. Ooh, it's everywhere. And that that is not significant at all because you had to reverse the number in order to get anywhere with that. According to numerology, you always have to do no. something to get exactly, and it's so cool because you always get exactly where you're going. Um, <laughs> in any case, uh, yes, well, how, uh, how are you all feeling tonight? Are we ready for some, um, some horrific fun? Yes. And disturbing yes. good cheer and all that stuff? Great. Um, so, <laughs> I will mention, uh, as, as always, as we've been doing, although I think not for I think this is the last time in fact for this for this game uh it is September so if you'd like to subscribe it's cheaper to do so now to gift them and um you get a free subscription through your Amazon Prime account if you link it to your Twitch uh account so there you go information cool uh yeah but if not just follow us because why the heck not uh it, it, it costs nothing that one costs zero I don't understand why anyone <laughs> subscribes, actually. You can just follow. Oh, I, well, I'm not supposed to say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we put in a lot of work, okay? That's fair. Um, our story so far in this game, boy, you know, after 17 chapters, you would think there'd be a, uh, there'd be just fewer dead bodies lining the streets of paradise. But uh, where we have left our intrepid adventurers is that a dread storm broke out. A giant walked the main street of paradise. Cigar-scented smoke pouring out of it in the rain. Um, he came for our heroes, those who are sort of trying to, to take a stand against the night and somehow escape, but are very much entangled in all sorts of webs and connections to, to dark figures. Um, one of their number was killed. Another, Oksana, was spared because Dahlia sought the sought the uh, what is the noun form of intervening? I mean, intervening is the intervention. Thing. Intervention. The intervention. There we go. <laughs> it was like intervention. Intervention. <laughs> she sought the intervention of the Dark Lord of this plane himself, the Stone Man. She told him, or she answered affirmatively to his three questions: Do you want me? Do you need me? Do you love me? And to all three, she said yes. He appeared immediately. He pounded that uh, giant into the dirt and into the, I guess, street, actually. Um, as the rains fell down, there is now a tiefling here who has emerged from um, another realm from a tarot card a couple sessions back. Um, and Sorrow is her name. And Sorrow immediately offered to perform a, a marriage between Oksana, or not Oksana, between uh, Dahlia and the Stone Man. And the stone man fled in the night, saying he needed to sleep on it, and he would give an answer in the morning. Um, Zane, we will introduce your character sort of as soon as it's uh, as soon as it sort of makes sense to. But um, for now, we're going to pick up at that exact moment in the rain, right after I read the invocation for chapter seventeen. <clears throat> Stop right there! I got a no right now. Before we go any further, do you love me? Will you love me forever? Do you need me? Will you never leave me? Will you make me so happy for the rest of my life? Will you take me away? And will you make me your wife? I gotta know right now. Before we go any further, do you love me? Will you love me forever? 
so. Intense. Anyway, friends, those three of you who stand there, the smoking body of a giant, 20 some odd feet tall, kind of like laying broken, its head kind of cracked and caved off by these impenetrable stone fists. Um, on the street about, about 10, 15 feet ahead of you, the wreckage of Sensei Mark's Geo spread everywhere, the last of his tiger palm having been expunged. You hear the receding, pounding footsteps of the stone man as he runs away. The rain is letting up a bit at this point. So, to Dahlia, the very badly injured Oksana, and Sorrow, what are you doing? I go over to Dahlia. Are you okay, dear? No, I'm not okay. Okay. You just betrothed me to... Well, I think that, I mean, nothing Nothing gets rid of a man sooner than a, than a marriage proposal, yes? I don't think he's exactly a man. I know, it's a little bit redu reductive, yes. Asana, are you okay? I, uh, I'm not very well. I have pain in places I did not know existed. Mm. I'm not very well. I have pain. <laughs> um, I go. I go over. I go over to Oksana, and I'm like, so I like. I'm going to, um, uh, like, sort of see, like, see the extent of her damage. Sure, make a medicine check. I'm actually not doing. I'm. I'm literally just poking on her bruises. I... Oh, it's still a medicine check. I... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, does this hurt, dear? Oh, does this hurt? Yes, it hurts. Um, it hurts like our childhoods. We know what pain is, do we not? Okay, well, 14. 14. Um, she is pretty badly injured. What, you've got like one hit point? Yes. Yeah, she's, oh she's, my. In, she's in rough shape. Oh yeah, I'm pretty rough too, huh? Yeah. yeah, I think it's a... Has the mist lifted again? I don't remember. Um, the mist? Yes, yeah, so so the, the kind of, like, insane interdimensional stuff that seemed to be going on, that seems to have let up. The rain is 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 still coming down, but it is lightening a bit. Um, but Dahlia, why don't you, as you're kind of... Why don't you make a perception check for me? Boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <clears throat> um... Three. All you see is rain. I I think that perhaps we should um, you know take a uh, take a rest and you know uh, and then you'll be good as as you'll be perfectly fine. You know you just have to sleep for a little bit and then everything will heal up. I think maybe she needs medical care. Well, I think that she just needs to rest for you know an hour or something and she'll be perfectly fine. I mean, where I come from, you sleep for an hour, and then you're just totally... Yes, but you are eight feet tall and have horns. You are different than us, so I, I do not I don't, understand uh, how... I don't, no, you just you just sleep for an hour, and then everything, you're like, all these broken bones and everything, it all goes away. That is not how any of this works. I'm sorry, what? I need... Uh, we are, we are uh, uh, how do you say, frail. To, we we are human. We, you are from magic land. No no no. It's uh, the human. No no. The humans where I'm from too. It's every everybody. Every everyone who adventures. You just go. You sleep. You go down. You're 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 you know you 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 go. You sleep wherever you can. You know. You go in this like a corridor in dungeon. Well, I can, you just I can rest sleep for ten. You know. Here, but okay that's okay not okay. Going okay. To heal my injuries. You, can I can I tell which way back to my dormitory from here? You absolutely can. Okay. So then, in that case. Um, I, I don't want Sorrow to come with us, but Oksana, would you like to come rest at my dorm for the evening? I'm sorry, you don't want me to come with you? You? Uh, <laughs> I don't. I, I mean, nobody, nobody else has to come. I, I will, I will go to her. The, the, the what? 
You dorm. said you don't. My dorm. I'm sorry. Do you just say this to my face? You no, say you don't, I, you, I don't you, want. You don't want. I'm to, just saying you don't have to go. I I will. I you can go, but I will be in the dorm. You, you don't women have to go in just, the dorm. I don't know how I would explain you coming into the dormitory. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we could work together to think about the disguise. Uh, or no, I mean, I guess you know. It could be costume. But I, you know, like I said, you don't have to go into the room. Oh, no, please, just, I can no, be, just I can walk around in your little most. skivvies. I'm sure that everyone will be distracted. I don't have any skivvies. This is what I will lift No, 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 not you, not you. I'm talking about her with her, everything hanging out and the you wetness. You don't comment on her clothing. <laughs> you, no. Just like a, a just like a, you know, a, a, a milkmaid <laughs> here. I'm sorry, Saro. I'm just not sure that I quite think we can, um, you rather... Before? Um, I will say, Dahlia, why don't you make, because you are proficient in it, um, do you have a stat for your disguise kit? Uh, I believe I believe, I I believe yes. that you do. Um, why don't you make a check with that? Okay. Um, this is not a, um, this is more just like the, like the thinking of it, this is not so much see about see if I even think I can. Yeah, or, yeah. It'll be my greatest work to date. Nine. Nine. Um. With a nine, we're gonna go in a different direction. You look at and you're like, you're like I've come back wearing some weird costumes before. It should be fine. Oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> that is true. No, please. Why don't you go ahead? I'll I'll tell you what. I'll walk ten paces behind you, while well, you no, go but... ahead and go do your thing, and uh, and You're then we'll going just to see need what happens. More than ten paces. That's all I'm saying. Oh, it's fine. That's fine. I'm sure you. I'm sure you'll both be very, very safe. <laughs> well, I, okay. Here's the thing. If we go into her dorm, you and you are coming, and you can't just follow us from far behind. You have to be with us. So why? Well, let's all just go as a group. Oh, well, now you want me to be with you. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Now you're, okay. It was a, 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 a adaptation of the play set between um, heaven and hell. Yeah, I'm sure you're a smart girl. You can figure it out. Or like, uh, you, you know, Romeo and Juliet, but like the Capulets are angels and the they Montagues are devils. Uh, they do that I don't all think the time. it's that. I don't they feel... They do the I, nonsense. Okay. I think uh. we could sell that. I just, if we want to take a rest, and maybe there's safety in numbers, I don't know if you even have anywhere to go, so... Uh, no, I was just summoned into this hell pit. Um, the I mean, granted, it is a slight step up from being, you know, buried alive like I was, but, you know, at I least there I didn't the have people that once. were just mean, just really just mean, <laughs> mean women. I'd rather be buried alive than deal with these mean women. Oh boy! You did just try to sell me off in marriage, so. Yeah, and is he here right now? No, but he's coming back in the he's morning. Back. Is he though? Is he really? I know when the man. I know when the man is all right. I I think I think yeah. that right now you're in a he's very good holding pattern. Man, and I think it would be a mistake. You, I mean, but then maybe you shouldn't have asked for him. I asked maybe. for his help to save her life. Which I appreciate. I know you don't sorrow, but you know I. You, you know you're growing are. on me, so I I don't know. Well, thank you. You, okay, you know your so horns hurt so bad. Is the plan to go retreat and and rest for the night? I think I might be able to help you, Oksana, a little bit with. I it would be appreciated. I feel as if wind come, me just well, so that would be nice. Yeah, I'm going to uh, so uh yes. Do you? Do you need the help walking? Uh, possibly. I, okay, I will I, try. Don't touch me until I start go ugh. But, uh, oh, you know, I will. Can I use healing words on Oksana? Sure, you have one more. You have one more of it, so yeah, go ahead. I do. And it's... Uh, I see that you're... Yes, that's good. Save... That's just, you know, save... Just use all your spells. That's a good idea. I'm, I'm sure that'll be fine. <laughs> you you do not know what it's like to have friends. She is You're friends. right. God. Your, heal yeah. your heals do I, so much, Dahlia. Oh it God. seems, it Wait, seems like it? you... Wait, what is it? What was it? She's, uh, she hasn't rolled it yet, but it's a d4 plus oh. 6 for her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Because her heat, because her modifier is a plus 6. I'm gonna go rest. Charisma, it's obscene. Uh, that is a 3. 
So that's nine. Nine. Nine hit points? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <gasps> I have ten! Thank you! So, you you are well oh. healed. Um, I would say that, um... Sorry, you... Oh, my max is eight. Well, there you go. Sorry, you probably... <laughs> you certainly noticed that it seemed like... Like, that seemed like... You get the impression that Dahlia is a very powerful healer. As she was clearly not using anything that strong to do that. And 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 Oksana, who was literally at one, has now been fully restored. Yes. I mean I you know, I our friend who unfortunately got smoked or smashed, you know. May he rest. It's not I mean it's not that I mean it's impressive, but it's not that impressive, okay? <sighs> Well, the, you know, the, this is, she is amazing. Come, come, I, just, come, I can't, I have, I'll, no, I think I, I do not I'll need your you help walk. anymore. She already helped me. I'm good. Can I'm we good. bicker I think you do. I think you do. Can we just, can we, can we, can we bicker in private? I could use a shower. So as you all walk I'm through the. theoretically covered in swamp muck. As you guys walk through, you know, for some reason, it's like your clothes are always like, like every time you change locations, you kind of look okay. Your hair is always perfect, <laughs> even though it's kind of disheveled. Um, as you three ladies walk down Main Street, um, you're going to sort of head off to the road. At the end of Main Street, you didn't notice it earlier, Dahlia, but the path going to to Darkmoor College, um, like up ahead of you, there is not sort of that section of town. There seems to be a mountain. Oh no. Now, uh, I will say even with just like the passive perceptions people in the group have, it looks like the road that used to go straight through now like curves around this mountain. But above you and kind of in the rain, it looks almost muddy, but there is this like dusty kind of like dun gray mountain. Um, And at the top of it, as you walk, there's like, you know, one last kind of flash of lightning somewhere you see that there is a a sort of like a circular tower um a good bit up the mountain that stands a few stories kind of like like not quite at the top but extending almost to the top of it oh no i don't have a dorm to go to you you your dorm would be a mile or so like a mile and a half like beyond where this little mountain has risen um, it doesn't look like a huge mountain. We'll go with the Englishman who went up a hill and came down a mountain rules of, it looks like it's about a thousand feet tall. Um, it's like just a mountain or, or, a, or like a very like sort of like steep, steep, big hill, but it is there. So you do not see your dorm at present. You, unless a huge amount has been replaced, uh, maybe your dorm's still on the other side and the, the road oddly now like curves around the mountain, though you don't see where it goes for, again, in your way, there is now a mountain. Well, this hire... was the way to my dormitory, but now it appears that there's, um, is the mountain, I, I'm not, am I expecting to see the mountain? Like, is, has paradise taken its effect on my mind? Did you all that? are now, because you've done, like, the ritual, because you all participated in that, you okay. are now aware of when things have changed. Things but changed? it definitely okay. seems like the way that suddenly there's a swamp. Now there seems to be at okay. least one mountain at the end of Main Street. Soro, can you fly? Oh, yes, can you? I just assume because you you are from a magical place, you have horns, you might have hidden wings. I don't know. I, I would have to take off my clothes. <gasps> you can actually fly? Yes. Well, that was, that was just a guess. Oh. Flying's not always safe. The last time I was flown somewhere, I got attacked by a giant well, what if she just flew like up to see? I think that I was, you know, I was so excited about it, about like the, being a big reveal and showing you my wings. Well, we can well, still make it a theatrical moment. That's I just don't think. I think we're going to. I mean, if you're worried about, you know, I think let's start walking, and then if it becomes to be too much, then I mean, but like I can fly. I can't carry both of you. Oh no, I mean, not to carry, but. To look and see what's what's uh, going on beyond the hill, yes. over oh, the we'll hill. Oh, let's just walk. Let's just walk. Well, I can sneak up. Do, do you wish me to sneak up? Sure, sure. Sure. I don't feel like you are very confident about this, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I think maybe if I go up there, you run away. No, no, no. Because we actually do need to know what you see. So there, there's no chance of us running away. You're growing on me too. Like I, I have no problem with you. 
I give you a hard time, but that is how that is how we do, you know. I know. I understand. <laughs> We have similar accents. You, yeah. you and your magical I, place have similar I know. accents. It's str- we might it's str- I, 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 mean, I think perhaps you have a little bit of uh, the devil in you. Oh, I can't. No, sorry, we absolutely are not going to run away. We really do want to know what you're going to see up there. Yes. All right, I'll sort of sneak ahead and see. So you're going, just so I understand, are you sneaking up the mountain or you're carrying on the road that seems to go around it? Um, r- remind me, um, the situation is that there, like there's... Like the road is the road curves around the river, or sorry, the road curves around the mountain. Yes. Yeah, so basically, it's like there's like a there's a road that seems like it should kind of just go straight on, but instead there is a mountain, and now right. now the road like right at the base of the mountain just goes and seems to like curve around the side of it. Of course, it's raining. You know, that's just the vague sense you get from here. Uh, I feel I feel like perhaps we should just follow the road. I don't know how much. I'm okay, doing... fine. Let's walk. Let's just go. I'm fully healed. We can walk. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I'm also, like, I have, it's like, cracked ribs. I'm not doing very well. Understood. So, as you all begin walking along that path, um, you get around, about halfway around this mountain. It doesn't seem to be a particularly large mountain. Um, I do have to roll something. Hold on. Uh... Uh, Somebody here has a plus uh, has a has a passive of thirteen, right? Yes. You uh, do hear something about eh, 60, 70 feet, kind of like up up on the mountain. Uh, you hear like a scuffling sound. It seems like an animal. Uh, you glance up and you can see kind of like a, a a large shape. Doesn't seem like something that can fly or anything. Just kind of like moving through sort of like the rocks up there, having having glanced down and such. I think we should stay away from whatever the fuck that is. Well, yes. I mean, unless, I, no, we, let's stay away from a large animal. Uh, there's a, oh, by the way, sorry, I can see. There's a large animal up there. Plus also there's a large animal. <laughs> um, so let's stay, you... here, here, I was, uh, let's stay away from the large animal. That is usually what you do. Unless yeah, you have I mean... a gun, shoot. Do you have a gun? Sorrow? Uh, a what? Gun! A shoot! Uh, like a crossbow. Oh! No. Wait! He's ready to have a sword now! Oh, yes. You have a sword. You are carrying your new sword. Um, I'll say that as you kind of have this conversation, staying away from the long animal, you do make your way around the mountain, and beyond it is just suburban streets. What basically used to be there. Some section of town was replaced by it. But, but not all of town. God damn, I'm out of focus. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, That's weird. How do you? What, how does one do it? How does one fix it? Just lean um, in. Lean yeah, in, lean like in that in one lady said that time from that thing. Okay. Uh, um. In any case, <laughs> uh. So yes, you guys carry on, and in the distance, uh, with kind of the rain that is this kind of lessening, Dahlia, you do see the campus up ahead, basically oh, where it did. should be, but now no longer, sort of like there's a mountain between you and sort of the main street of town. Okay, thank goodness. Um, you are yeah. able, you are able to get to Dahlia's dorm, uh, without incident. Uh, I guess I'll roll to see if anyone sees you once you're inside the dorm. No one, no one notices the girl with <laughs> horns walking in with the other two girls, and Dahlia is able to to bring you up to her room. Um, you are going to take a short rest at this point. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah. As long yes. of a rest as we can. Right. And yeah, you're you're going to sleep for the night. Okay. So if you are sleeping for yeah. the night, if anybody wants to use their hit die uh, to to heal. Um, they can do so. However, Dahlia, if you if you would like to to like recite some words, you actually can roll a d6, and everyone also regains that many hit points, including you. Um, one variation I'll make from the actual cruel rules I use is you you can get the benefit of that even if you don't spend hit dice. I will say. Mm. Um, but if you'd like to spend I'm hit dice to get more, fully. You are full, so you're fine. Thank uh, you, Dahlia. 
So yeah, Dahlia, why don't you well, roll? Well, I thought we were going to get attacked coming here, so, so I was like, I'm going to favor now. For I was sure. like, I may as well use my spell now. And just uh, so go ahead and roll a, roll a d6. Okay. Five. So you and Sorrow both regained five hit points. Ooh, um, should I use... What Sorrow does not regain, uh, to her surprise, are any spell slots. Right. Um, and Dahlia, um, you also were tapped out of spells as well. Well, no, that makes sense. I mean, we would need to... We would need, oh, no, we slept for the whole night? Yes, although we're going to pause kind of as, as this is going. Is anyone, like, keeping watch or anything? Is anybody staying up? No. Okay, cool. You guys are in I will. Room? You will okay. Uh, make... I'm excited. I'm. I've never been in another girl's room. Before. Okay, so so sorrow <laughs> sorrow lays down on the ground immediately out. Um, what is no, this... no no no. I want to. I want to. No, I'm going to lay down on the bed with. Uh, with... No. You two. Well, you two lay down on the bed then. I'll, we I'll... will. Okay. okay. <laughs> we will. Uh, so so sorrow. You can you can sleep on like the uh, on like the. I'll keep on. watch then. I am awake. Because I can't sleep. I'm in the bed, like. Dahlia, are you sleeping? <laughs> I'm sleeping. Yeah, she she like falls asleep immediately okay. in this. Dahlia's like, oh, just like, I, and, like I feel like dainty, dainty sound. Oksana uh, laying next to her awkwardly. Um, are you are you are sleeping? Uh, 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 sorrow. Well, if the if the girls are going to be in the bed together, I mean, I want to make sure there's. So I'll sleep, that's fine. Or head to toe. You can do, we'll do head you, to toe. Are you? If you want to do a watch, you certainly can. If you want to like like spend a couple hours, keep, you know, because you only need to sleep for however many. You can stay up or you can wake up early, however I will. Like I will watch. You'll I keep mean, watch at the beginning. Okay, so you're kind of like yeah. up and watching and just not alert. Okay, so. I mean, I kind of want to roll back the clock. I don't know about you, but. To what? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. I mean, <laughs> do you want to roll back the clock to some? I, I can. We can. You guys just kind of came in here and we're starting to kind of heal and such. Is there? Yes. Is there? No, no, no. I'm talking about, about the, the dread. I'm talking about the dread it. clock. Philip. Oh, I see. I see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You mean this clock? Yes. Understood. Um. Yes. Uh. So far, it doesn't seem like any of the the these. Yeah. It's very true. It doesn't. Does it? Stuff is not. Stuff does not seem to be do that. So, as you all, as you all rest, um, Oksana, you are awake. Um, go ahead and make a perception check because you're kind of like keeping an ear open. Uh, six plus uh, eight. Eight. Great. Stop. So, as you guys are sleeping. Oh no. Um. I'm distracted. There's a pretty girl next to me in the bed. I've never been no, in another girl's room. I don't know, know what I'm doing. You, you absolutely are. <laughs> um, Why are you breathing so heavily? Leave me alone. Shut up. Why, you shut up. <laughs> um, you shut up. I just you're, uh, you, you, you are asleep, actually, oh, Sara. This is uh, Oksana. Has, oh, sorry, sorry. Oksana <laughs> is uh, alone here. Oksana. I said I with me in her dream. Yeah, um, I'm sleep talking. No, you shut up. <laughs> Oksana, you hear a... Um, a very, very soft, I mean, the rain is still falling here, but you hear a very soft, just kind of like. I don't know if you can hear that, but at the window, you hear kind of like a tapping sound, like a, like a. Welcome to our D&D &D ASMR channel. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I need long fingernails. Um, so you hear, you hear some, some, some tapping at the window. Saro, Saro, mm, mm. wake up! There's tapping at the window. What? Tapping at the window, and I I don't want to move because I don't want to wake. I don't know. Don't wake her. No, that, I mean. Okay, you can just call out. Just go. I just get over. To, because that will move. If I move how, the. How is your arm underneath her head? How is your arm underneath her head? Raise this way. I don't know. Go look at the window. Okay. 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 Thank right. you. Sorry, you can make a perception check if you'd like to. Are you opening the window or just looking out? No, I look out and I don't open the window. Okay, it's cool. Raining. So you just you just you look out the window, make a perception <laughs> check. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, perception. Eighteen. You see nothing. Huh. <laughs> perfectly, perfectly calm outside. What? The, there's the, I don't see anything. Looks, well, looks, do you, go back to sleep. I heard. I'm not. I can't sleep. 
Well, then you then get up and you look. No, I won't. I'm going. I'm not going to wake her up. She saved well, my life. The only thing you need to you need to decide what's more important here. No, this feels nice. Do I? Have, shh. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You know, take what you can. You know. Well, yeah, that's what I, I, you know, I, this is not allowed in Russia, so, you know. Is it your, it looks like your arm is asleep. It is. <laughs> it's resting on nerve right here. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> oh, my God. I know, it's very, it's very painful. I know, it's fine, you know. I'm going back to sleep. Okay, good night. So I love well. you. I mean, oh, shit. It's. You know, yeah, I, I, I didn't mean I did. I just it was okay. a reflex. I, you know, the, it, we might die. I lo I love you too. This is this is. Uh, it's been nice having friends like you. The, you. You're, you know, you're unique. That's that seems like that it's seems good. like you. You know, you say things and they and the words are nice, but like then I think about it and it's like you're it's quite mean. I'm very literal. If I'm mean, you will know. I will be mean to your face. I do not do this. This uh, what do you call uh, abstract? Mm, oh yes. Mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I I appreciate it. Okay, I'm I'm going to sleep so I can I'm going to go back to sleep so I can get all my spells back. Okay, good night. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so once again, after a few moments, sorrow drifts back off to slumber. Mm. Oksana, <laughs> where are you looking right now? What is your are you just watching Dahlia? <laughs> wait, no, no, I'm not, no. Wait, wait which side is Dahlia? So how is the setup? Dahlia, which side of me are you on? And are you closer to the wall? Is there, how is the setup? Yes, imagine imagine a dorm bed like against a wall. We're going to say Dahlia's yeah. roommate is out because that just makes this more easy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I don't think we ever established she had one. Um yeah, so, no, I have a. You know what? A, oh, she's got a. She's got a. She's one of those girls that has like a suite, right? Although, although I, have, I think it's that she had a roommate, but she died under mysterious circumstances, which in this town, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so, it's just become my master suite. So yes, basically, so Dahlia, yes, you have a bed up against a wall. So Dahlia, are you are you on the inside at the wall or on the outside oh to get gosh. out of the bed? Um, I mean, if Oksana is keeping watch, then I'm definitely on the inside. Okay, cool. So Oksana okay. on the inside. Wait, so, so, wait, so wait, do you have two, I'm sorry, Bob. Do you have two beds in your room? Like, are they yes, like pushed the together? Floor. Are they like pushed together? <laughs> Did you push yeah, your beds another... together? Or did you leave them separate? I think we left the other one separate. So Oksana and I are curled up on that They're one. They're on one, oh, and I yes, you're, you're, you're in a bed, yes. Oh, this is okay. wonderful. Um, now, <laughs> Oksana. So, and then sort I'm of looking the, out the window. So the then. heads of the beds are kind of like at the far end, and there's a window on that far wall, kind of you know like like narrow dorm thing. Two beds, some dressers, some stuff, and there's a there's a there's a window at the far wall. Yeah, Oksana, I'm like so absentmindedly looking out the window, you, listening to the rain. Wonderful. So you look out the window. Uh huh. Um, and then sort of there's a there's like an odd almost shadow. <sighs> And um, crawling down, um, you see this kind of upside down, like popping into it with this incredibly friendly look on their face. Is this androgynous sort of <gasps> pale oh, figure no. who looks right at you? <gasps> Would you make a wisdom saving throw? Fuck! God. Uh, that's not too bad. 17. Alive. With a 17, that is the DC <laughs> of a vampire's charm. So this vampire does this, and you have your own mind. Is there anything you'd like to do? And this vampire is just kind of smiling at you, but it kind of like looked and like you felt this mesmerism, kind of this, me you know, at momenting. What would you like to do? Can I do two things at once? Uh, depends on what they are. Can I <laughs> shake Dahlia and call out for sorrow? You may. And in response, the vampire just sort of grins at you and winks. You shake, you call, both of you are awoken. Sorrow. But what is it now? There was a vampire or pale, like, like Tilda, wait, Tilda Swinton doesn't exist now. Wait, what, was you, this person like Tilda Swinton? <laughs> yes, but you, you would, you would not have that reference in this game, but say it to the players, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, there's yes. still the Swinton was outside. Yeah, the Swinton is outside my window. <laughs> um, Lucky you. Oh, no, no, no. Don't look at 
Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Because it's worn off of me, right? I'm no longer charmed. You are no longer charmed by Hopfen. Okay. They they are gone. <clears throat> I, uh, they, it, it, they were upside down like this and smile at me and wink. It was scary. What are we going to do? Oh, wait, Hopfen's gone? Uh, if you look out Wait, the window, you see, uh, make it for anyone who wants to like look physically, but you you don't see anyone in the I window at present. Did I recognize Hopfen? You in would my... have actually. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yes. Make tell you what roll a roll a. Uh, uh... That's why her wisdom throw is so high. Yes, sure. You 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 now realize that that's a vampire for sure. Oh, okay. You know that it's the vampire who turned Madam Ether, who then, you know, attacked you guys in the woods or whatever. Oh, yeah, you okay. probably have I, a... I remember now. This is the one that, that bit the, uh, the, the whore, the, not whore, that's a bad, that's not the, oh. the lady of the uh -oh. night that well, my I mean, why do you have to, before. like, I, you the, you, I think you this. get to work through a lot of things I, I, yeah, I, before I did not need therapy, I feel like now I do. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was the vampire that bit her. He's he's very bad news, and maybe we shouldn't come back here. I forgot that he's still alive. I thought he was good. Well, he winked. He smiled. So did you? I, uh, did I what? You didn't fall for his his woo -woo. No. Why? Why would I? that's? Because he no. he enchants people. It's what he does. Um, it didn't work on me. I'm strong. I'm going to use. I don't have it. Never mind. Hmm. A channel divinity to detect undead. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, but I don't yeah. get it into level two. Sadly, you do not. So, um, but you don't see anything. And even if you walk up to the window by this point, you know, with with a creature who can turn into mist on a rainy night, it makes them pretty much impossible to see. Um, so you uh, you don't see anyone out the window at all. But there is an eerie feeling. Nevertheless. Um, Oksana has um, saved against that, which means I don't believe it. she can, you know, you, you suspect that, uh, actually, I'll tell you what, make an Arcana check, uh, Dahlia. Oh, okay. Arcana check. I'm trying to figure out how we can get a, a running river in this dorm room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. That is a nat 20, so 24. With a 24 from, you know, it's one of those things where you, you probably learned this when you played Lucy in Dracula Vampire Play, but like, you know, oh, things of this. Um, but kind of now that you've encountered some vampires, um, you have a strong suspicion that for this vampire to charm someone, they must look at them and be looked at back. So one easy temporary solution here would simply be to pull the shade. Oh, of course. Do I know? Okay, actually, I have a question. Can the vampire enter my dorm? Has, you, you with your in? 24, you know the vampire cannot. Uh, the vampire wanted to come to your dorm, but instead got waylaid. And now, yes. And now, because I'm no longer his charm, I want to Exactly. Him. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so the, I'm going yeah. to rush over to the window and pull the the. Uh, the Shade down. Pulled till down the shade, and with that... And I'm going to turn to Oksana and Sarah and say, it is absolutely of utmost importance that you do not look at him in the eyes. We do not open this shade. We are safe here as long as no one invites him in and no one looks at him. I looked at him. Yeah, but it, it, it seems like for whatever reason you're okay. Because I'm strong of mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> well... Well, you're stronger than I'm. But you are strong in other areas. You are kind. You are a healer. You're a strong healer. You are, you are, you are very, very much a lot of things. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> Who's the poor you're thing, poor. Sarah? This, this poor girl, she does not know. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll let you know more about it. It's, oh. Who's the poor thing? <laughs> Which one of us? <laughs> English Oksana. is my second language! Oksana, no! Oksana! Oksana, not you. Well... <laughs> <laughs> with, with... You just don't know any... <laughs> She's not... Goodness I think someday you'll know what nice is, okay? I hope that for you. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, as these, um, as this very interesting crew sort of retire to, <laughs> to attempt to, to attempt to sleep or rest here at this time, oh um, 
Fortunately, nothing else interrupts your slumber. Your dreams are, are unpleasant. All of you have dreams that are not necessarily your own memories, and yet they are memories. You dream of things that happened to those who had your souls before. I guess, Dahlia, that does not apply to you, as you no. have yet to have another have another essence. Aww. There oh, was a wow. lot of kinky shit in my... You experience <laughs> those things. Me too. Uh, but... I mean, when you have the soul of a dominatrix in your past... You know. Just... Um, nevertheless, we are now going to, kind of as you all, as morning sort of breaks, and you all uh, experience all of this, um, we are going to go elsewhere. Where would Bruce find himself hey, Is his last a... name Philip? Oh, sure, Bruce Pumper. Where would Bruce Pumper find himself <laughs> on a on a on a sort of a weekday morning? Amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. In the most nasty, 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 nasty place you can find. Uh, Bruce Pumper is a producer. He makes uh, sexy movies, and he would oh clearly god. be in a dorm room trying to find. Uh, <laughs> You are, no. you are in a dorm room. All right. Bruce Pumper, I would like for you. Oh, dear. Roll me a, uh, Bruce Pumper, roll me a persuasion Ew. check. Oh, no. Pumper. Five. Oh. Uh, <laughs> negative six. Uh, actually, uh, three. <laughs> negative two to charisma. Oh, Bruce. Bruce. You what went to character? you went to some dorms I'll to try to later. do I, I do I understand that you were seeking you you're a sexy movie producer? I really yes. I really need to talk to Zane before he makes characters. Um okay, <laughs> so you're a sexy movie producer. You are you are you are conveniently <laughs> like Okay. Cinemax. Sure. Great. Uh, so Bruce but meanwhile uh in the same dorm, Bruce Pumper wakes up in a dorm bedroom. Um, Bruce, you are alone in this room because no one was interested in what you were offering or suggesting. Not a soul. <laughs> However, <laughs> due to the numerous uh, students who have been uh, met with untimely demises, you actually found an unlocked and vacant uh, dorm room. Um, so you decided to simply crash here because I'm going to go out on a limb and say with a seven charisma, Bruce Pumper, the sexy mover producer, is probably does not have permanent residence. So I will say that Bruce Pumper just kind of crashed in the dorm room of some murdered college students. <laughs> um, but as you awaken, squatting. as you awaken, Bruce, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> Eight. Bruce, you are overcome with the feeling of being beaten and burned by a massive figure. I don't know if any of Bruce Pumper's movies involve like like imagining like 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 giant women eating tiny men. I don't know if that's really? something that Bruce Pumper produces, but you are experiencing the non-sexy version of this in which this massive flaming smoke-filled body is just like pump pounding you not in the in the way that you'd want to capture on film, but with like fists that are flaming and and just scorch you feel your body being scorched um and with an eight you think this is happening right now in this dorm room oh my god what is going on to me i can't help this fuck fuck all right ah. um being screamed from dahlia's next door <laughs> dorm room you guys all hear a strange voice shouting that you all awaken a rest complete a short rest complete um your hit your hit points have having restored to whatever degree we already went through but you hear that voice calling out oh my god what is this what is happening whatever the hell bruce pumper said are we allowed to say the f word on this channel yeah well, I'm just checking. We, have you not been paying attention to this? You know, we can say the F word. We just can't I, talk about 
uh, yeah, you can say any word you want on this channel, except to, unless... I've been... Well, yeah. yeah. So I've good. said... I've, I've said the F word. Yeah, you've said it numerous I, I forgot. times. Yeah. Well, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Do you forget that we have a game that's literally about a jizz band? <laughs> okay, but that's a type of music, okay? We're very cultured on this channel. Fair enough. Right? Um, so, so, Oksana. Yes. What? What is it you, how do you want to use the F word? <laughs> what the fuck the was one that? F word the game. Oh, what the, this, do you, I mean, this is a horrible place that you are in, Dahlia. This is not a good place. There's people screaming. There's she's vampires. A, she's a theater major. What do you expect? College. <laughs> oh, you are an actor? Of course she yeah. is. Oh, okay. That makes much more sense then. Okay, you you say that we are mean. Look at what you are doing. Um, I think Bruce Pumper is probably still shouting at this point. Uh, let, uh, oh I, my god! <laughs> let me. Oh, no. uh, 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 okay, I was able. If there was a vampire in there, I was able to withstand him before the Tilda Swinton. So Can I, I just will bang go... on the wall and yell to be quiet. You may. Um, make an intimidation check. Okay. I'm gonna open my window. What I would do. Don't open the window. The vampire? My window. Oh, in, in human life, I see. Oh. Uh, okay. That is a 27. Bruce Pumper, despite your fear, something what worse is pounding at you, telling you to be silent. Oh my god. Oh my god. So for the next... Ah! So basically, as you sort of lay there writhing on the ground, make another wisdom saving throw. Uh, Why do I roll low on stupid rolls? 18. With this, you... You open your eyes in this room, and Bruce, you suddenly have memories that are not your own. You can remember certain things. You can feel yourself dying on multiple occasions, both being burned and being exsanguinated by things. Oh, poor Bruce. You don't oh, necessarily yeah, was... remember the names poor. Kenny or Vigo, but you you have some sense of purpose, some sense of something, some sense of something that you're supposed to be doing beyond just making your sexy movies. Hmm. I look at my hands and just kind of wake up in... in with some strange understanding of something. Um, but I, I I want to approach the wall and knock back. What do you knock? Is there a pattern or you just knock a few times? I want to, I want to meet the pattern. I want okay. to, it, like a little bit, uh, whatever the pattern was, I want to meet the pattern. All right, so Dahlia, the room grows silent. You hear a few more mutters and then kind of like a strange, almost exhalation. I assume you guys are all kind of listening with some kind of like care. Yeah. And then you hear... The same pattern you just knocked, not quite as loud, certainly not as intimidating, but repeated back. Can I put my, my mouth against the wall and say, is there a vampire in there? <laughs> do, I, do I hear her? You do, and yes you can answer however you'd like but you you do just have oh. memories of vampires so mm. i would say oh my god beautiful lady i can hear you across the room hello it is bruce i do not know you do you have vampires in your room oh my god no i'm a producer can what? i come in please what does he produce what 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 does he produce <laughs> What do you produce? Uh, sexy movies. What? Oh. He's like a choreographer? Sort of, no. We are no, not, he's not we a are choreographer. Not... What the, he takes what? poor sexy. unsuspecting girls and puts them in difficult situations. Oh, uh, he's like, a like, warlock. Like, like for strength. Do, do they need someone to go and be strong? Sexy, strong is sexy, you know? Sexy not movies. that kind of sexy. You don't want to do his kind of movies. Um, what is Bruce Pumper's oh. passive perception? 
11. So actually, Bruce would hear this, and then certainly uh, anyone would kind of like anyone over ten hears this as well. Um, you hear like people like coming out of dorms in the hallways, having hearing all this shouting, kind of trying to investigate what's going on. Um, you even hear one of the uh, one of the ladies of the dorm sort of being like, "Does somebody have a guy in here? And is he shouting? And if so, she's going to be like, she's like, she's going to be in big trouble for that. And like, because that's like that's like so gross to have a guy who's shouting in the morning." Oh, see, see, see you later, Ryan. Just climb out my window. Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, but yeah, she's like, it's so tacky. Okay, bye, Ryan. I, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> so gross. Ryan. Um, she's like, is there a guy? Hello. And uh, let's see. Do I hear that? Do I hear the person in the hallway? Yes. I go to the hallway. Ew! <laughs> As you emerge. Ah! Oh my God! Half naked oh. man. Oh my. Another door opens. Where? <laughs> oh my god. Back oh, in... I love this place. Um, oh my god. This is this creep who was knocking on all our doors last I, night. No. I'm going to open the... What, have we opened the door yet? No, I don't think so. We okay, still, I'm gonna, we're just hearing it all. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go and open, open the, door. the door. And how far is Bruce from the door? Basically, Bruce, you've walked out of the hallway. So you see Bruce standing in the hallway. So I'm going to grab him. Uh, he's not wearing a shirt. Are you, wait, are you wearing a shirt? It's just a vest. I grab his vest leather. and pull him he's in. He's just wearing a leather vest. You're pulling yeah. him into your chamber. Okay. Yes. Um, oh. I, I shut the door behind him. Oh yeah. my God. Who was that girl? She seems like a slut. Yeah, I know. I don't even recognize her. She <laughs> grabbed a guy. Yeah, I know. I open the door and say, I'm not slut. <sighs> you are slut. I heard you saying goodbye to Ryan. And <gasps> Guys, that's not true. I would never cheat on Thomas. <laughs> Uh, so in any case, uh, as you guys uh, are are in there, uh, you've pulled Bruce into your... So basically, Bruce, three ladies have just pulled you into their dorm by your vest. Oh. Oh, what no. is what is Bruce what, what is Bruce wearing here? Uh, leather pants and a matching okay. leather vest with boots with uh, silver spurs and oh. those little things on the front. And he's got a tight ponytail. Oh, no. I see. Are you so? I think Sexy perhaps sex man. Perhaps you are no. I think this perhaps he is a rogue in leather armor. No, no, Bruce, I don't know. When you walk not. in here, um, actually roll for me, um, a history check, Bruce. Rogue. <laughs> I'm up in the corner it's, right now. So, so, uh, so it, so. <laughs> oh no! Like, it's an eleven. Okay. But that's because I have. A negative, negative two, two on my history. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> what is this character? What is going on? Why did that trigger the clock? No, because he rolled a 13. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. But he has okay. negative two on whatever. I that. <laughs> All right, so we have a 13. Trevor in the chat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be mad at you. Insane. Love it. All right. Well, thank you so much for that one. Uh, let's just roll on this little guy real quick. Oh, no. Uh, come on, no, Y or Z. No, no, no. You too, Jesus. It's not our Y or Z. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, so so there's this brief moment of fear. Bruce Bumper, the with an 11 you had, um, that actually is enough for you to recognize um, at least the faces. It's from memories you don't fully put together, but you definitely recognize... Um, both Oksana. Actually, you recognize all three of these people. You especially recognize Dahlia. You somewhat recognize Oksana, and you vaguely recognize this chick done up like a devil woman. Oh my god, I know you. Oh, are you? You. 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 Why are you talking to me like that? You did not talk like that before. You, you had shoes. I love this. And fashion. Oh my god, shoes? <laughs> I, know sh I know shoes, I know you, one, two. And I would recognize three. him too, potentially, right? You do not recognize him. Oh, never mind. None oh, of you have I seen, that. none of you has seen this face, but oh, he recognizes okay. all of yours. I take it back. Got it. Um, no, and this is not this. Why? Ugh. Why do you say you recognize us? Why Why do you say you know me? I have not been in one of your stupid, uh, sexy movies. 
Uh, uh, I certainly oh. haven't. Yeah, you could though. Do oh not. No, 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 sir. She no, does sir. Shakespeare. Oh, you know, uh, it. Uh, they come to my movies after, uh, you know, it does not work out the first time. So they come to movies afterward, but. No, anyway, can you please explain how you know us? Uh, uh, ESP. What? ESP. Oh, the brain communications. Hmm. Uh, I, oh my God, I see you. I know. Oh God. I see you in my mind. And my dream was so fucked. What I were saw, you dreaming? Uh, smoke. Uh, fuck. Is it? You you remember dying? It's, um, I turn to uh, Sorrow and Dahlia and say, it, it is like when I remember the, the Lady of the Night, the Madam Ether being mm. killed by the vampires. This is this is the, the man who got... I see. He's like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Even sorrow you experience this. And Dahlia, though you've yet to experience it, you've witnessed it enough times. I've witnessed it. Mm. Oh, it's too bad on this one, huh? It is because he went The one before was so much better. Oh. Yes, I know. Was it oh. he also the professor before as well? <gasps> he was. You've been many. You've, you've had many souls within you, Bruce. Um, my god, Dahlia, you're the only person without a just vague Eastern European accent right now. I love I it. I'm sorry, I just, many souls within you sounds like the title of the song Bruce would <laughs> Many souls within you. Oh, no. It's a spooky, sexy movie. Um, my, my accent was chosen prior to this, so and I was like, this bang. is going to be difficult no it's, it's perfect it's amazing real person. i now i oh now is, i is that real person tommy wiseau <laughs> no it's, I, I don't know if i should even say it honestly you no, can say no, anything no. you want to but no, but i no. i am now regretful that hoffman didn't make it in here so we had a german in the mix as well yeah. um <laughs> in any case um so what now that you understand who this person is what is your plan? What are you all doing? <sighs> I will give a brief recap of such things, you know. Uh, uh, you went and talked to Madame Foreshadows. She suggested you maybe get someone to kill the angel as he's as he's going to be trouble for you all. Um, yeah. But, uh, but, I mean... You may not want to go talk to this woman, Carla. You may not want to ask any more favors of the stone man. Uh, in any case, you suspect now that it's daylight, the agents of the angel who Madame Foreshadow strongly warned you against trusting are probably on the move again, perhaps even looking for you. I think that maybe we should go look for this woman, Carla. I feel like, you know, why, why trust a man to do a woman's job? I don't think we should tempt fate anymore with stone men. Well, what else do we have to do? I mean, no, we cannot. No, you're right. I'm not going to any angel because I don't think that will work out. So, no, do, do I remember not anything? Go to X10. I'm not going anywhere near that man. Go ahead, angel. Philip, whatever he is. Do I remember anything beyond just recognizing their faces, or is there any content that's been you? You result? definitely, especially if they're saying the word angel aloud, you know that like some angel has an important job for you all. You can remember that. Okay. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> I love how that just flashed Bruce Pumper. <laughs> Bruce Pumper. Oh dear. Um so I uh I have been uh I've been alone, uh, you know, trying to make some movies. I have new uh learning inside of me now and I would love to uh, join you, beautiful ladies. Do, um, not, do not talk to us like that. We are not your beautiful ladies. I am no. Oksana, this is Dahlia, this is Soro. You may refer uh, to us as such. Oh, that's too much to remember. I call you one, two, and three. 
<laughs> no one has ever insulted me in such a manner. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, my God. She really, <laughs> also, for the record, she's ludicrously attractive, this one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. One, two, and three. Um, I do wow. not respond to numbers. Oh, uh, whatever you like. We will learn our names. Uh, uh, Miss, Misty. Uh, Dahlia, yes. Uh, in two and three. Uh, I, yes, let's go. Let us just go. We'll learn their names as well. Strong, strong, big. I will what? take Excuse that. Excuse me, what are your names again? One more time, please. Oksana, Smirnov, Oksana. like the vodka, hey, because I'm sure hey, you drink hello, plenty hello, of it. Hello. And you. <laughs> Uh, How did I just realize your last name is Smirnoff? <laughs> <laughs> Took a few seconds, but we're all there now. Uh, <laughs> no uh, relation. You, uh, sorrow, sorrow. No, you can call me Scort. Scort. <laughs> I like it strong. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go, please. Let's go. So we're seeking out Carla? Yes. Yes. Another lady. Uh, you are not. No, you did, Mister. Yeah, sure, listen. Yes. No, listen, pumper, not. pumper, pumper, nickel. Okay. <laughs> you need to shut your mouth. Okay. Okay, I love a strong lady. Please. Okay. Oh okay. no. Oh no. Um. Oh no. Well. So you guys okay. are going to look for Carla, is what you're telling me. Yes. All right. Um, now, <laughs> did we say, uh, what kind of horns does she have? Uh, did Desaro have tall horns or does she have like the curved? I don't know if we ever uh, established that. Uh, I don't think we did. She has red I... skin and a forked tongue. I know that. Yes. Because we, cause um... we, um, what kind of horns do you want to have? I think I think that the, the her horns are not, not like a ram's horns or like they're sort of like twisted. They sort of go they sort of go like go big like this. Go back sort of perfect, perfect. Okay. They're like an ibex sort of like twisted. Okay. Um in that case, Dahlia, you do suspect that like, you know, you 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 have certain um, you know, ro like cloaks you could sort of throw over her, you know, yes. kind of like oh. In your in your oh, in yes. your wardrobe of, of costumes and such. There you go. If only oh, they had a go, Holocaust yes. cloak, that would be something. That would that would be great. She'd probably be resistant to it anyway, yeah. I <laughs> am the <laughs> dread. <laughs> uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, exactly. Um but yeah, if you if you if you want to throw a cloak over her, you think that might obscure her just kind of in the in the dim light of day. Anyway, I have lots of wardrobes, so yes, I think we can do something. So basically, a could I attempt now that there's sunlight also to like reevaluate now that I'm home with all of my makeup? Sure, make, makeup a, make a make a sure make a, a, a disguise kit check. Is there any also like, are you opening up your closet? I mean, I'm assuming. Is, is there anything like that's like attractive? Well, that's in there? a one. If if I see Sara looking through the clothes, I'm going to be like, you are too big for those. Um, you will not fit. So and and I won't either. Dahlia, you you have no idea about this. You just you grab a little bit of like foundation and uh you like rub it. Like you get a sponge. You just put a little bit of foundation just to kind of like test test colors and the sponge fizzles and the makeup almost seems to like bubble for a few seconds. Are you um... are you a tiefling who's like resistant to heat? Fire damage by the way. Uh, yes. As opposed, to, okay, yeah, yeah, you're a, yeah, run, run, a hot running tiefling as opposed to like the cold Levistus or whatever. Cool. So yeah, you yeah. do that and you see it like like the the little bit of foundation just kind of bubbles and like it doesn't seem to hold any color at all. So you doubt? Well, I guess that doesn't work. Yes, um, cloak it is. <laughs> Taro, do you have fever? That was boiling off of your skin. No, it's just how I am. Can I touch just... you? <laughs> It's I mean, okay, yes, you know. I have, I have, annoyingly small pores. Nothing. It's, and I, I go ahead and I take <laughs> your hand. <laughs> I get it. I have a. Oh my god. Oh no. 
yeah. So you can go. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Dalia, yourself, I don't. I do not even know why you have makeup. You do not need the makeup. You are beautiful just without. You are beautiful. Very... Pound scum on you. You are beautiful. <laughs> the blood on your face. You are beautiful. <laughs> Um, oh, Aksana, you deserve I listen so much tempo. better. Yeah, <laughs> this is all. This is good research for you, Bruce. Um, lend more authenticity to your next uh, dorm room, dorm room, uh, dorm room secret, whatever. Yeah. Um, in any case, at this point, a bit of time has passed in the morning. You you seem to have a destination. You have disguised your tiefling to some extent. And you want to go to the home. You you were given the address. You want to go to the home of Carla Breton. Um, I guess that's where we go now. Then as you all walk outside, yes. it is morning. <gasps> oh. What is oh no? And as you guys begin walking away from the dorm, sort of as soon as you've kind of like gotten away from the main thing of the uh of the, of the dorm building kind of on like a winding path as you're going to head back over to a suburban area. Um, right in front of you, just like, like out of nowhere, just like directly down from the sky, kind of just landing and immediately pausing <gasps> is a gargoyle. Oh, oh no. I, I will stand in front of Dahlia. No, 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 Oksana, don't, don't. It sort of just like, kind of like they... extends hands towards Dahlia. No. You cannot go. I don't go. He'll come for me. And okay. Well, if he's if he is going to come for well, you, let, let him, him come here. Yeah. What? It looks like he doesn't think you are worth it if he's sending one of his minions to you, and you he's have... not even here to face me. me Stone to one. Stone you. one. Do you have Do you have a message? Do you have a message? Um, does do any of you speak Terran or any other form of primordial? I speak Russian. Okay, you're you're not making out much of it, unfortunately. Uh, celestial, infernal, draconic, and oh, very sad. No dice. Um, it simply makes like the sound of like grinding stone, and then just points it to Dahlia. And Am I points. supposed to go with you? Crush, crush. If I say no, what happens? It points. It's going to make an insight check, actually. Natural one. <laughs> Stone shoulders got to just creak. <laughs> Can you understand us? Do you speak English? Can I also say that in Russian? But since I, as a person, don't know Russian. You you say this to it, and I it doesn't it seem Russian. to be. It seems to be getting a little bit more just like, like it's more insistent that you come. It's sort of walking toward you. It's now like right kind of up against you. Oksana, it's by you, and it's kind of like trying to like reach past you to put a hand on her shoulder. I... I, I, will, I uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I will continue to. Do you want to shove it back? No, no. I'm, I'm like pushing Dahlia back. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I'm, not, um, I'm trying not to engage with the creature. You're trying not to engage, but like, you're keeping it. Okay. In that case, um, <laughs> this is not a grapple thing, but let's just do a, um, this is just like a position no. thing. Make an athletics check. Um. Oh no. Eighteen. Eighteen. It rolled a five. Ooh. Um. So you just very easily are like kind of, and it kind of just like, it kind of looks at you, Dahlia, like. Don't think I can avoid this. I have to go deal with it. Well, we I, we are going with you, right? And I turn to them. Yes. I. Oh. Uh, you can take care. I mean, he the, he's not. I mean, it's fine. But you you. I. I uh... Does he want? Does your does your does your master want to have? The, is he want the marriage? He does not understand us. <sighs> 
Wait, what no. other? Do you speak magic language, Soro? Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, magic language? It, it, like it, other language. It, it's gonna like reach for Dahlia one more time. If you are you are you kind of still keeping yourself in front of it, Oksana? Yes. Okay, then it kind of it sort of reaches past it. It's not it's not being aggressive, but it kind of reaches and backs off with you there, and then it just turns around, and flies away. I, if, we come. We'll come with you. I mean, we just you know. If he want, he cannot send one of his things to come and get you. If he wants, I know it's. Yeah, see, this, you this see, he's totally ghosting if, you. If I were to marry I you, I would be here with flowers. I would be here with with uh, music, with violins, Oksana. with with Oksana, with ponies. No. I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would have a bouquet of of of, of, of fifty roses for you. Deserve you deserve so much more. <laughs> so the gargoyle flew away now. It's flown off. It has flown off. Okay. I'm just worried about what's gonna happen. Pierogies! I would have pierogies for you. He's gonna come back and he's gonna be really upset. I don't think he's going to be upset, no. If it- you know what? I am so upset because if he thinks that he had to take a, even- even a minute to think about marrying you, he is not worthy of you. And- 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 and he should be here to say whatever he has to say and he- he should- he should talk to me about it. That's oh what my I have to say. Yeah, she loves you. I she I, loves I, you. I, oh. No, really. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah. I can I look around and see if there are any other gargoyles in the area. Make a perception check. <sighs> Do not tempt fate like that. Uh, Fourteen plus not fifteen. You don't see any others. Okay. Doesn't mean they're you not there, to, but you don't see any. You have to be very careful what you say because the the, the sky has ears, and stone oh, ones, and many of them. Well, I have a heart, Shh. and I am just speaking what my heart has to say. I know, but you have to be careful. Can we roll that the dread, the dread clock? <laughs> That's a good one. Tell you what. Tell you what. Let's make a deal. Yes. Don't no. Get, don't get my deals. Team. You can, for sure. Oh no! What's going on? We will roll it back. You made a profession of love, and if it is your intention to have sort of proclaimed it so that everyone can hear it, yes. no. Then yes. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, you stupid girl! I proclaim my love. You no. stupid, Tell stupid me girl. Jesus. Oh, you child! You stupid little child! No, no, no. Talia, right. he doesn't deserve you, and if he's doing all of this, I, I will face him, even if that no, means costing my life. After I did all that to save you, please don't waste it. If I have to fight, I will fight for you. No, you, you... <laughs> but if you lose, then I lose knowing that you're alive, and I wind up having to marry him. That's Oksana. not happen. At least they're alive. Oh from no. Me. Well, okay. And I started walking <laughs> a little bit. Oh, I was just like, peace out. Um. I'm just, I'll be like 10, 10, 10 paces away. You guys are just going to continue on towards towards Carla's house? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot that's yeah. what we were supposed to do. Then Sorry, I was in love. <laughs> you you we're head. We're so caught up in, 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 in loving us. You head down. This suburban street. Carla's house is sitting there. It seems to be, in many ways, the nicest house on the block. Every single flower in the garden is perfectly trimmed. The lawn is immaculate. The white picket fence is almost blinding. From outside, even here, all of you, regardless of your perception, but, uh, but uh, the higher you are, the more specific. You can smell the just best odors of cooking coming out of this house. Cherry pie, you know, like, like, like all, just every baked good you could possibly want. Just like, and in fact, those of you with higher perception even maybe see a window sill open where there's a couple of pies cooling back by the kitchen on the back of the house. 
Um, it's a it's a perfect little picturesque house. Um, a welcome mat, not even an inch askew. And now the floor of you are standing outside of it. Um, you have not yet entered the yard. Um, you can hear the faint sound of a sort of um, imagine a song like uh, you know like the like the fifty song Sleepwalk. Uh, just imagine some like extremely like like tranquil kind of like fifties music. Think Sleepwalk, a theme from a summer place. Think these kinds of you know yeah, that's this, what I was thinking. this sort of music kind of <laughs> wafting out over the wireless radio. It's a nice place, huh? Yeah. Bruce Pumper, I do not know what you are thinking, but stop thinking whatever you are thinking. What? <laughs> hey, I have feelings, you know, it smells good. It reminds me of my home. <sighs> nasty. I... It reminds me of my home. Nasty? <laughs> um. Why do I have a feeling that Bruce Pumper has a bit of a mommy? 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 <laughs> mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> mommy? No, sorry. <laughs> Um, as the DM all... is not on TikTok, so he. Doesn't I know understand he's that not reference. understanding our references. Um, that's my whole. That's my whole thing. As you all stand <laughs> here, though, um, you are the highest passive perception, correct? Uh, I believe of this group, you have thirteen. Is that right? Um, uh, fifteen. Uh, Sorrow has fifteen. Oh my oh, god! Sorrow has fifteen. Damn. Oh, oh yes. Sorrow, yeah. actually, oh, this is. Yeah. I not... Oh, someone notices things. Yes. Sorrow, <laughs> you do actually in that case notice something. Um, uh, How hopeless kind of. Oxon is? No, it's okay. Well, you do notice that um, that you're not the even sure. Once, it you, you, you. I'll even say you sort of notice it change because you were there and like looking, and there is now something different about this roof. That right in the center of it, there is a gargoyle perched. But this gargoyle, unlike many of the others is holding an electric guitar. Oh. And suddenly, dong dong! Oh no. Ringing out across the area and you hear answering musical instruments from overhead. The music inside stops. The guitar continues, and now other gargoyles are sort of landing, like perching on the on the fence, other places on the roof near the chimney, playing other instruments that they sort of either carry or have mounted to them. The door opens, and this sort of small, slight blonde woman in a in a very nice, uh, just kind of like dress, um, is sort of standing there looking out, like, uh, "Hello, is." James, is that you? Um, but this music is continuing to get louder. James. That was her husband, yes? That was her husband, yes. Um, and then a voice sort of almost like emerging out of nothing and these pounding footsteps behind it, like walking across the street. I couldn't take it any longer, and Lord, I was crazed, and then a feeling came upon me like a tidal wave. I started swearing to my God and on my mother's grave that I would love you till the end of time. And then it looks at Oksana with this just angry face. I swore that I would love her till the end of time! No, 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 no. Did something happen? You just heard that. There's a, and of course, I mean, you. This is this then, stone man. He's here in the middle of the street. There's this cacophony right. playing around him. Then why did you hesitate? No, Oksana, no, 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 Oksana, no, 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 it turns back to you, Dahlia. I, I, I with this, since just... Dahlia told me to be quiet, I will be quiet and 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 turn and stand next to her. <laughs> it walks up to you, and says, "I swore that I would love you till the end of time, and now 
I'm praying for the end of time to hurry up and arrive. Because if I gotta spend another minute with you, I don't think that I can really survive! And it raises its uh, hand. Uh, and brings it I down go on Dahlia. No, no. That is where At we are Dahlia? going to end tonight's session. Oh! Wow. At Dahlia? You doomed me with the marriage thing! If I gotta spend another minute with you, I don't think that I can really survive. Friends, neighbors, things are interesting. It's gonna get crazy next time. We are ending a little early than typical tonight where uh, we got some uh, some limited cast availability, but I think that is that is certainly a cliffhanger. Um, did you hear what I did though? <laughs> you jump in front? Yes, yes. We'll, okay. We can get to that sort of, th yeah. For okay. Sure. Um, no! It's a twofer. It's a twofer. We can't lose them both. They can um, turn back the clock. Oh boy. Uh, oh man. Some good stuff. You know, it's you, you. You requested to turn back the clock, so he heard it. Um, that's what that meant. <gasps> yeah, of course, of course. If you proclaimed your love to everyone, everyone heard it. Andrew, you, you, you said that wanted you to have a threesome. I was like, oh, no, no, no one wanted to have a threesome. Wasn't to no have a threesome. one wanted a threesome. No, well, Bruce Pumper <laughs> probably did. Bruce Pumper did. <laughs> That's true. Why is he? It's a PG-13 no. coming of age. This is no. why I wanted to just go off with the gargoyle when it came. I could have protected you, Oksana. Now we're both going to die. Well, you know, the things I do for love. Well, Oksana, <laughs> there is an interesting thing. And if, uh, and of course, uh, we, we will, uh, we can, uh, actually, I guess we could do this right now. If, if people have to leave, they certainly can. However, but Carla's um, here too, huh? Oksana, there is a fun little thing about you. Um, you have There's two things. things. I mean, you're, me. you're, you're, you definitely <laughs> cannot take this person out, but you have two nope. things going for you. One huh? is that Look. you, Oksana, are wearing plus one magic punching I gloves. Fisty, which means fisty, that pointy. you actually will deal damage to this creature upon punching. I and number two is, Oksana, this is your fifth session as this character. <gasps> which means you are not going to be doing this as a nobody. You're going to be doing this as presumably a level one fighter. Oh, shit. Which means you're going to get a fighting style like and you might you might get a... Dahlia might, for saving me so many times. I mean, times. You're, you're, you're going down. Don't worry. But, but we'll see. <laughs> no, you All put right. that evil on um, me, Ricky Bobby. I'm also uh, okay, I have a question. Please. It's just so... Maybe you won't tell us until after we have sure. died. Yeah. But any abilities we acquired, do they can transfer over with the new with the soul? Nope. No. Nope. No, no, no. You'll be you'll be if Dahlia goes, you will be. As back I found down out with Will. Will. So, friends and neighbors. Um, well, Bruce Pumper was an interesting... Bruce Pumper is the most important thing that happened in this session, obviously. Oh, my God. Terms of, like, oh long -term my things. God. Oh, right my God. Oh, good. Um, so horrible, and I love it. I'm going to be sad if Oksana dies. Sorry, uh, me, too. Be... You know what? Don't put that into the world, okay? Just kill Bruce Pumper. It's fine. <laughs> I just need so many it. things. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna be level one, you guys. Yeah, you are gonna be level one nice. for for all of for all of like one round of combat. Um, I'm gonna be sad when Dahlia so, dies. I'm so uh, excited to play my other character, uh, but I'm gonna be sad. When I, Dahlia, oh, dies. Dahlia I, I'm gonna be very sad. And Dahlia may I, not too. die. There's a lot. Dahlia is no longer in a place where one hit is gonna take her out. And Dahlia is very yeah. persuasive. And Dahlia, I mean, there's there's a lot. She's going powerful. On. Yeah, this is not an over with thing by any means, but. Um, well, everyone, thank you so much for checking this out. If you like what you saw here tonight, uh, check us out on Sunday for our Star Wars game, Smuggler's Reverse. Check us out on Monday for session one of Wild Beyond the Witchlight, starring two Woo! of these wonderful players here. I'm going the wrong way because I've mirrored video. Um, and uh, and then come back here next week for another exciting Blood from a Stone. Oh, it is also the finale of of Smuggler's Reverse on We Sunday, finally the have the heist underway. So we'll see. The heist is finally underway. Oh, boy. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be close. Episodes. Um, yeah. So thank you all so much for checking it out. Um, anybody else have anything to plug or add or say or do? A reminder for those of you who weren't here in the beginning, it is September. Take that as you will. Um, and it's less to subscribe. So if you'd like to, we're here all the time doing a lot of really cool things. So we would oh, appreciate Jeff it. Probst. 
Jeff Probst. <laughs> Jeff Probst knows all about September. That's what he we, that's... loves. Um... You love September. <laughs> Jeff Probst oh would subscribe God. to well. someone. And also, if you have Amazon Prime, you have a free subscription. So if you would be so kind, we would appreciate if you threw it our way because it's free with your Amazon Prime Indeed. or to another pr channel that you love. That's fine, too. But just know that it's there and we would appreciate it. But if it, but other creators are cool, too. <laughs> well said. Well, everyone, thank you so much for checking out tonight's game. We will see you next time. Have a dreadful Ooh. night. So packed, you're at the door, a taxi's on its way, there's nothing left to say, I'll give you back the ring, don't look at me like that, you had to know it ends like this, couldn't you feel it in my kiss, not happily ever after. down the line I feel like we've been running through somebody else's dreams it isn't what it seems I can't keep up this game you're looking for someone to roll a kingdom by your side but I'm nobody's bride you need to know Never gonna change